we can get started. Our first question is from Rock Kubako. Brendan, what did you think of Watkins, and how tough is the decision between not wanting him to go a third time through the order and also needing to push starters to get deeper in games? Yeah, that was um, – well, for me, he had that 36-pitch inning, and that took a lot out of him. Um, that was one batter away from – I think that was the third – Getting, getting somebody up in the third inning just because of that inning. Uh, you know, credit to him, he pitched out of that jam and didn't give up a run there. Uh, but then a homer in the fifth, a lot of stuff starting to flatten out a little bit there to, in the top of the fifth. Uh, I was hitter to hitter um, to Zavala and kind of going to places pitch-wise that he's not been very often in the third time through the order and a really good top of the order. Um, Paul Fry, plenty rested. Um, hoping to get two out of Paul, but you know he did a nice job in the fifth, and then uh, you know the walk and the hit by bat, hit hit batter in the sixth that hurt. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. Brandon, was it your intention to give Trey the the whole day off, or were you you know were you just saving them just for a situation just like that if it if it occurred? Yeah, we we're down. Yeah, I mean he was ready seventh inning on if we. Um, you know, either gotten a runner in scoring position situation or, um, you know, a tie game of the night. I was just taking a shot there. Obviously, I had no, nobody on the bench left except for Winnie, and I had to put McKenna in the infield just for to try to tie the game. So, um, yeah, Trey came through in a big way. I, you know, I was really I – mean, our, our bats in the ninth and the and the tenth were really good and was really pleased about that. Um, we didn't have a hit for a long time, so uh, – you know, tough to score two runs there and it's just a tough loss because that was uh you know you'd like to see guys battle back and win those type of games john mioli go ahead brandon do you expect mount castle to be okay for after the break yeah i'm hoping i'm sure he's gonna be sore the next couple of days but i'll stay in touch with him training staff will as well and we will hopefully he's ready uh, in kansas city joe tressa go ahead Brandon, just in general, do, do you think the break's going to be good for you guys? It's just at, for an opportunity to just to clear your head at the very least? I just think pitching wise, I think our starters need e e extra days. Um, you know, our bullpen, it's nice for our bullpen, even though those guys have been fairly, the, the main guys, the guys I've been pitching with leverage spots have been, been fairly rested here the last few days. Um, you know, obviously today I extended Tanner one plus. One I needed Paul to go to. He couldn't quite get there. Um, and then Wellesley, who, who I'm pitching in the eighth or the ninth inning um, in big spots, uh, you know, he threw two plus innings. So, um, yeah, I think mean, it's, it's nice to have right now. All right. That is all the questions we have. Thank you for joining us, Brandon. All right. Thanks.